others looking for a nanny, somebody to take care mm -hmm. of their kids when they're going back to work. A lot of anxiety about that, a lot Absolutely. of fear and stuff. Well, we're going to have our parenting contributor, Lizzie Bermudez, here today to give us some very, very helpful tips with that. That's right. A lot of fun. Hey, we have a winner today. Yay! So our big contest for ABC's Love in the Afternoon contest. This fall marks the 25th anniversary of Luke and Laura's wedding at General Hospital. And ABC Daytime is inviting one of our viewers and a guest to be part of the celebration. Mm -hmm. So our winner receives two round-trip tickets to Los Angeles and hotel accommodations and will then spend the day on location of all of his or her favorite General Hospital with all the favorite stars from General Hospital as they tape the special anniversary episode. So, who's the lucky winner? Lucky winner is... Kathy Den! Kathy Den! She's on the monitor Almeida. already. Congratulations, Kathy Den. And, Yippee! Uh, have fun at General Hospital. Yeah, going to L.A. Yippee! Yeah. Well, you won't want to miss a very powerful episode of Grey's Anatomy tonight on ABC7. The show centers around a woman dealing with breast cancer. And we got the inside yeah. scoop from Kate Walsh, who plays Addison Shepard, along with Nancy Brinker, the founder of the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. Kate, first of all, tell us about uh, tonight's Thursday night's episode. You guys yes. are going to dedicate it to breast cancer awareness? That's right. Um, we have an amazing storyline, uh, and it centers around. It's actually uh, Dr. Uh, Miranda Bailey, Chandra mm -hmm. Wilson's character on the show, has a patient, a young mother who um, contracts breast cancer, and is sort of, um, you know, is struggling with how she's going to deal with it and all that. And and really, it shows quite powerfully, I think, how it affects her family, how it affects. Um, the people also in her life and 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 highlights that you know it can happen to breast cancer afflicts women she's you know her character is a woman in her 20s a young mother who contracts this disease and so it really can happen to anybody any race any ethnicity any walk of life and it's just hugely important to to be proactive in medical care and get the message out there What kind of mother blames her own baby for her cancer? Right, I know Shonda Rhimes, our show's creator, and everyone on the show is is very, um, very about that, very interested in it. So, so it's a, it's a great storyline. Yeah, it sounds like it. And Nancy, <clears throat> uh, founder of the Susan G. Komen Foundation, which has just grown immensely since you founded it in Thank '82. You. Um, <clears throat> what is it like to have the cast of Grey's Anatomy do this campaign for you by Ford? And can you tell us a little bit about well, that? Yeah, Janelle, it's really exciting. <clears throat> this Warriors in Pink program that Ford has uh, has created this year, and this opportunity to connect and work with the cast at Grey's Anatomy and Kate's outstanding role, it's a real plus for those people in the United States and elsewhere who may watch this who are uh, diagnosed with breast cancer or about to be, and for the movement. You know, breast cancer is a very, very large disease. 200,000 people in the United States alone will be diagnosed this year. 40,000 will die. That sort of computes to one out of every eight women. And to have this kind of awareness uh, with a young cast and people talking about it openly, this would have been unheard of 25 years ago. So, Kate, I just found out that you are a Bay Area native. Uh, you were born in yeah. San Jose. Do you still That's have right. fond memories of the Bay Area? Yeah, I do, I do. Uh, I, I, I love the Bay Area, I mean, and I love San Francisco. That's just, uh, that's really kind of home to me. It's so beautiful up there, so, so yeah. Yeah, um, and um, can you tell us a little bit about your character and Mark, what's going on with McSteamy? Are you guys going to go back to the East Coast together, or are you going to stay in Seattle? Geez, I don't know. I think it's safe to say that we're probably both going to stay in Seattle. I mean, unless you know, unless they kind of push my character down an elevator shaft or something, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to stick around for a while. <laughs> Can you give us any sick secrets or tidbits about what's going to happen? Uh, no, I can't. I mean, I just think it's a long and winding road. You're just going to have to tune in. Okay, great. Thank you, gals, both so much for um, joining our show. And we can't wait to see uh, tonight's episode, Thursday night's episode of Grey's Anatomy. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. And it's on tonight at 9 o'clock on that's ABC7. Right. And is. something that's really neat, there's a new store opening up tomorrow, Martin and Osa, mm -hmm. brand new. Right. It's a kind of a, kind of a spinoff of Abercrombie and Fitch. Mm -hmm. And they are going to donate all the proceeds from Women's Apparel, all the proceeds, 100% to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Fantastic. Is that great? And this is one of the scarves that they is great, yeah. brought onto the set with us today. So, and, and that store is down at the Westfield Mall, right? Yeah, right the new Westfield yeah. San Francisco Center. And Blanche got a sneak peek of the whole store, and she's going to bring that to us tomorrow. That's so go fantastic. shopping there tomorrow because it all goes to a good cause. Absolutely. Okay, coming up, you know her from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Lifetime Strong Medicine, among other shows. But what you may not know is her first love is the stage. And she She's in the Bay Area to sing and dance her way into our hearts. Jennifer Lewis is next.
And later in the show, fitness guru Kathy Smith shows us how to tone up and lose inches in just 30 minutes a day. I'm Kristen Z, ABC 7 News. Highway 152 near Gilroy shut down into the evening after two tankers collide head-on, spilling hazardous materials. Recovering, surgeons removed part of a foot-long barb from a Florida man's heart after a stingray jumped into the man's boat and speared him. Sony unveils the new PlayStation 3 today in San Francisco at 5. Is this technology enough to get the company back on track? Also at 5, a bumper grape crop in California, how you could get great wines from bargain prices at 5. Proposition 90, it's supported by a few developers and land speculators, but it's opposed by police, firefighters, environmentalists, business, labor, and taxpayers.